Hi guys, welcome to today's Funky Groove number two. If you found this video useful, if you could give it a like, and if you haven't already subscribed, if you could do that also, that would be great. So, we've got one bar, we've just got one bar repeating itself. Now, this is quite hard regards the speed, because I'm playing 16th notes with one hand on the hi-hat. Snare drum's still on the two and the four. And the bass drum is going bass, bass, snare, bass, 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 snare, bass, 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 bass. So let me play it to you. Hi hat, snare, and the bass without the notation, slowly. And then I'm going to play it with the notation slowly as well. Here's the groove with the notation. You see it pop up here. Let's take it again, nice and steady. Here we go. Three E and a four E and a one E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a three E and a E and a four E and a one. Some of you might be asking, why can't I use two hands on the hi hat? You can use two hands on the hi-hat, except it just changes the feel of it. With one hand on the hi-hat, I'm accenting one and two and three and four and up. And that just kind of pushes it along, so I'm basically accenting the quavers, okay, the eighth notes. Um, it does make your coordination possibly a little bit harder because you've got that right hand on the snare and you've got that tricky bass drum part. I don't know, it, it, generally it will just change the feel of it. So you can use two hands on the hi-hat, but it just won't sound as driven, and in my opinion, won't sound quite as funky in this case. So let's do it again, really slow with one hand. Here we go. Three E and a, four E and a. You may have noticed that I am accenting them eighth notes one and two and three. That again, like I said a minute ago, it just kind of pushes it along and gives it that feel, okay? So let me know how you've got on, build it up to speed gradually, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.